Now let's look at the uh, model with interaction. So for a linear regression model, um, if you only consider the uh, main exposure variable x1 uh, without considering uh, the potential effect modifier x2, your model will be just simple linear model y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 plus the error terms. But if you believe there's a potential uh, effect modifier, so usually it's effect modifier x2 would be a dummy variable, so we'll talk about in detail later. So which means uh, this variable will take two levels, 0 and 1, and 0 is referred to as the uh, baseline or reference level, and 1 is referred to as the, uh, uh, the other level or higher level. And the interaction between uh, x2 and x1 will be the third terms, x1 times x2. So you can see if x2 is a dummy variable, x1 times x2 will be equal to 0 when x2 take the reference level 0. And x1 times x2 will be equal to 1, uh, I'm sorry, if we equal to x1, if x2 is equal to 1, which means x2 take the higher level uh, of the dummy variable. Um, and usually with interaction, the linear regression model would be like this. Beta 0, an interaction term, uh, uh, intercept term plus beta 1 times x1, uh, which is the main exposure, times beta 2 times x2 for the uh, potential E5 modification, and plus beta 3 times x1 times x2. And the two-factor product x1, x2 is referred to as interaction term, and beta 3 denotes regression coefficient for this specific interaction. And please here, you need to pay attention uh, in this model with interaction, the change in the mean value of y for one unit change in x1 is not beta 1 only. So here you basically need to consider two situations. So if x2 take the reference group, that means x2 equal to zero, this beta 1 is really the difference in y for one unit change of main exposure x1. But if you x2 take a higher level, that means x2 equal to 1, the difference in the expected value of y would be beta 1 times beta 3 times x2, since there is another x1 in the interaction term x1 times x2. So here we have the example, um, the SPB example. The scientific question here uh, corresponding to the interaction model is whether the relationship between age and systolic blood pressure differs between male and female. So in other words, the question is if gender is the effect modifier for the relationship between age and systolic blood pressure, or in another word, if there's interaction between gender and age. So here's the SAS code um, to look at the uh, interaction. Okay, so the first thing is uh, we need a, a data procedure that create a new data set uh, name new SBB1. Um, so we need to have, need to uh, set the uh, uh, lecture for SBB1 data and we need to create a specific term we call interaction term. So here the variable called age sex is the interaction between age and sex. Um, the reason here you can times age and sex directly is sex is a dummy variable. Uh, take value zero and one, um, and I believe zero is female, one is male. And this age sex is the name for the created interaction. And this 
is actually just equal to the product of the two. And then we can use the PROC reg to run the linear regression model with three terms, uh, like we show right here. We need to have the main exposure with this age. And then we need to have the uh, effect modifier, uh, the gender, and then we need to have this age and gender. So here is the syntax uh, of SAS um, linear regression. So we need to specify uh, linear regression proc reg and we need to specify the data. So this data will be the new data we just created, which include the interaction term between age and sex. And then the model statement is really uh, define the model. So the SPB would be the uh, Y variable, the outcome on the left-hand side of equal sign. On, on the right-hand right -hand side of equal sign would be the uh, um, predictor variables, which include age, gender and interaction between age and gender. So here are the uh, uh, results of the SAS output. So SAS first give you the number of operation, uh, observations, which is 69. And then usually the first, the first table is always a nice variance table, which is the task or task of the whole model. Uh, with three degree of freedom, the reason is we have three predictor variables. Uh, age is one, uh, sex is another one, and interaction between sex and age is the third one. And then this p-value less than 0 0.001, which means the whole model, the full model, or the interact of the, the regression model um, is significantly better than the no model. The no model means uh, the model without any predictor variables, uh, only use the mean value. And then uh, remember, we still have the report of this root MSE, uh, root mean square error. And uh, so we have this R squared and adjust the R squared. So you can see the R squared is pretty good, uh, around 78%, uh, which is pretty high, which means um, age, sex, and interaction uh, can predict the uh, uh, systolic blood pressure pretty well. And then uh, the last table would call this uh, a parameter estimates or solution table. So this will give you the estimate of each of the terms in this model with interaction. So the intercept term would be the beta zero. So 110 uh, is the beta zero, is asking of beta zero. Uh, and again, each term is a one degree of freedom because uh, all of these terms uh, are not a categorical variables. So just a single value. So degree of freedom is equal to one. Um, and the age uh, coefficient, which is beta one equal to 0 0.96 and also this is a, a significance uh, at the 0.05 tax level. So the sex effect um, is reflected by this beta 2. So this 12.696 is interpreted as the difference in systolic blood pressure between male and female. So on average uh, male would have a uh, systolic blood pressure uh, about 13 units higher than a uh, female. Um, but this term is not significant based on the p-value and the 0.05 test level. Um, the last one is the interaction terms. Um, first of all, if you look at the p-value and you can see it interaction terms is not significant. So we already talked um, in the first section, the concept section, um, there is a formal statistical task for the interaction terms. That means we can use the task to see if the interaction terms is statistically significant or not. So this is the task, it's actually a key task. Um, we basically use the parameter estimate of this beta three divided by the standard error uh, and this will be the, the T-score, the T-value, when we compare with the critical value um, uh, of T-distribution um, 
at the 0.05 test level. And this is not significant. All right. So based on the SAS output, the estimated model we got here is uh, 100.04 times 0.96 times H and then minus 12.96 times sex and then minus 0.01 times interaction terms. We just nothing but just plug in estimated uh, value of all these parameters, beta zero, beta one, beta two, and beta three. Um, and when we use the SAS procedure, PROC, uh, PROC REG, uh, regression procedure, the interaction is to be a variable in the data set. And therefore, we need to actually create, we need to uh, formally create this interaction term in the data procedure, uh, which is um, what we did right here. Um, and where the set statement provide the path for the original data. So remember, the original data would be the data without interaction terms. And the new data set include the created interaction variable is called new SPB1, which is specified here. So the things, the name right after the data will be the new variable, or the, will be the new data set or data set we created. And the set will be the source data or the data we use to create this new data set. All right, and then um, we should have the interaction, uh, the uh, model with interactions and we want to do the result interpretation. The estimates of the interaction terms is negative 0.01, so which means the linear relationship, the slope between systolic blood pressure and age uh, will vary by only 0.01 unit between male and female. Um, so here we can know that one sex equal to one for male and sex equal to zero for male, female in the data set. And then we can create a separate model for male and the female uh, uh, respectively. So for male, so this model would be a, a beta zero terms plus a beta one times age, and then minus 12.96 times one, and then minus the 0.01 times age times one, because um, male will is coded as one um, in this model, in the, uh, the sex variable. And uh, the, the estimated model for uh, systolic blood pressure for, female would be uh, beta zero plus beta one um, and then plus the beta two times sex. And remember here, uh, the female is coded as a zero and therefore this part would goes away um, because uh, this, the, the, the first part, 0.96 times age, uh, would be totally just the, uh, uh, the estimated difference in systolic blood pressure for one year difference uh, for female. Um, and also the interaction terms would be equal to zero because uh, uh, everything times a zero be equal to zero uh, since uh, the sex uh, equal to zero for female. And therefore the, uh, the systolic blood pressure model for female is just the uh, intercept term 100.04 times 0.96 times age. Um, and you can see here, um, there's a big difference in the intercept terms because there's a, a, a difference in the mean value uh, between male and female. Um, and uh, the slope terms are quite, uh, there's a quite small difference for the slope terms, uh, 0.95 for male and 0.96 for female. The reason is interaction term um, is, a small value, negative 0.01. And here we can see that every one unit increase in age, the increase of cystic poly blood pressure for male um, is about 0.01 less than female. And the interaction graph below is from the SAS output. And we can tell that the two fitted lines are almost parallel uh, with only 0.01 different in the slope. 
Uh, the thing is, uh, if you have a tiny little difference in slope, it just looks like parallel. Um, and where the red is for female and the blue is for male. Um, and you can see on average the estimated uh, or the predictive value uh, of six hectolic blood pressure for female will be higher than for male. And here we can know that the vertical distance between the two lines is about 13 or uh, 12.96, which is the absolute value of the regression coefficient beta 2 for sex. And the beta 2 for sex terms specifically uh, interpreted as the expected value, um, uh, the difference in the expected value of six hectolic blood pressure between male and female. All right, um, and then we can look at the test for the interaction terms. Um, so for this test, the uh, Null hypothesis is beta 3 equal to 0 versus beta 3 not equal to 0. Uh, and if we go back to the uh, uh, regression model, a mathematical equation here, you can see the beta 3 terms is really just the interaction between x1 and x2. And therefore, testing if the value of beta 3 is equal to 0 or not equal to 0 is equivalent to if this interaction term is statistically significant or not. All right, so in another word, the null hypothesis is the systolic blood pressure and age linear relationship doesn't vary significantly by uh, between male and female and the versus the uh, uh, alternative hypothesis uh, the systolic blood pressure and age linear relationship vary significantly between male and female. And based on our SAS output, we can see the p-value for that term is 0.93. Um, and remember, the beta-3 value is only negative 0.01. Um, and therefore, we fail to reject null hypothesis at 0.05 level. Um, and interpretation and conclusions at a significant level of 0.05, there's no evidence show that the SPB and age linear relationship varies significantly between male and female.